guys what is up welcome back to my youtube channel so today i am going to be showing you my new skincare routine so i went to ulta with my dad and i just got all skincare products that i've seen on youtube that every youtuber recommends and i was like you know what i think i need a skincare routine for myself because all i would do before is just wash my face with like some random cleanser sorry about the background noise i just had to turn off the room but back to what i was saying junior year is going to be it's not gonna be a bad year but it's very stressful i know that i know i'm gonna break out a little bit and i want to keep the skin as clear as i can and as soft as i can and put on as little makeup as i can because i hate putting on makeup the only makeup that i'll put on is mascara maybe some eyeliner so i want to keep it looking healthy and fresh and clean so i went to ulta and i got a few products for a little routine to do every morning keep in mind this is very simple such a simple routine i did not want to put too much on my face because i know i'm still young i'm only 16 i don't want to ruin my face with a bunch of harsh chemicals so the products that i got are a cleanser a toner and a moisturizer and a few extra things that i didn't need but i got okay so let's get into this so the first thing i do when i wake up now is rinse my face and then i take out my vanity planet ultimate skins oh can you see that ultimate skin spa this video is not sponsored by vanity planet but if you want to sponsor me i'm here anyway so i use this product i really like it it really like makes my fin makes my skin feel soft after i use it surprisingly because it's just a face brush i would think it would make it feel like all dry but it actually feels really soft after you use it the only complaint i would have is that it's a little messy because the water just gets everywhere when it's spinning as you can see right here but i like it i started using the purity facial cleanser but i realized it's actually supposed to, it's to take your makeup off that's why it's so gentle instead of recommending that purity i would recommend tony moly that my friend got me for my birthday thank you so much jolly this tony moly facial cleanser it foams on your face it feels so good and makes your face literally it like smooths out your face like and mats your face which is great for the summer because you don't want to have like an oily face after once you go outside it just mats your face and makes it feel so smooth and not even that dry. Then after I finish with my cleanser, I go in with my First Aid Beauty Toner. The lady at Ulta recommended this little jar with the little pads in it. And I thank her so much. Thank you, Olivia, because I am so lazy. I would not use this toner if it didn't come in the pads already because I am too lazy to take out a little cotton pad and put it on. So these things are so helpful. There's 60 in each um, pack which is a good amount if you ask me. So I will use it day and night. Um, sometimes I won't like if, you know, you just wake up and you feel like your skin's not really that dirty. Like if you just washed it last night, I won't use it in the morning sometimes. And I don't really know what it does. I think it's supposed to minimize your pores. I don't know, do you think my pores are minimized? I don't know, but I like it. It makes me feel really clean. It feels like, it's really gentle. It doesn't sting at all, but it feels makes you feel really clean afterwards. Last thing I do after my cleanser and my toner, I go in with the First Aid Beauty. Again, First Aid Beauty. Sponsor me if you would like to. <laughs> I go in with the First Aid Beauty Tinted Moisturizer. And this thing is really nice. I love that it's tinted because sometimes when you like doing all that washing, your face kind of pales out or gets too red. So it covers it a little bit. It's not as tinted as you think it is but it smooths out your face and I have the medium tone so it really matches my face it's not too bright not too dark and it just makes me look a little tanner overall the only little complaint I would have is a it's a little bit oily just a little bit but it does have SPF in it and I love that that's so good because I have this other moisturizer by Neutrogena. It was so dry when I used it. It would dry out my face a lot and just felt so like nasty and thick. But this moisturizer by First Aid Beauty is really, it's not thick at all. It's very light on your skin and it's just a little bit oily, but that's what you would expect with it having sunscreen in it. So that's basically my morning skin routine. The only thing I add at night is the Clinique Dramatically Different, dramat I forgot what it's called. You know what it's called. The Clinique Gel, 
I put on at night because it's a bit of a thicker consistency. A little bit goes a long way for all these products. We'll keep experimenting, but I like it so far, no complaints for it. After I use my Clinique gel, I will go in with my bio oil. And I know bio oil is not really for your face, it's more of a personal um, preference that I use this. And the reason why is because I have a bit of redness on my cheeks. They're really red. Like this part is tan, all the same color, and then my cheeks right here get really red and they have small spots on it. So I use this to even out my skin tone because that is one of the things that it does. It is also for stretch marks. Can you get stretch marks on your face? I don't even know. But it's really good for getting rid of that redness. You just have to use it twice a day, I would say. I'm not using it twice a day. I only use it at night because it is a little thick, it is an oil, but lather on at night and you will wake up and it'll be soft, smooth, silky soft. After I use my bio oil, I will go in with the Mario Badescu drying lotion and I was using it, I still have this, I don't know why it's not going away. Maybe this is a unique issue that I have right here, but I used it on that and it actually didn't do that much, as much as I thought it would because I've heard very good things about this cream from everyone, even my stepsister uses it. It didn't do that much for what I have right here. And these are like just red bumps, they're not even like real pimples if you know what I mean. I will update you guys in the next skincare routine video that I do. Or you can follow my Instagram, underscore that Sophia, and I can update you there on my story. Go follow it right now. The very last thing I do is use the Mario Badescu Aloe Face Spray. And that's, it's really nice, it's a nice touch, especially in the morning, you just refresh your face a little. It doesn't dry that quickly, but you know, it's nice, it's a nice touch and it's a little extra thing to make you feel good in the morning. That is it for my skincare routine. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know it was such a simple routine, I mean, that's, I think that's all you really need when you're my age. I don't think you need much product for your face. There are some unique situations, but it is also in the genes my friends are always asking me oh how is your skin so clear it's partly in the genes i got really good skin genes from my mom and my dad they have great skin they never break out rarely break out i owe it partly to my genes but also you have to take care of your skin you have to clean it every day i don't wear makeup but i know you should not sleep in your makeup always take it off do not be lazy with your skin because you're going to regret it the next day take care of your skin you don't need any fancy products you just need to keep it clean and moisturized thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in my next one bye